I want to welcome y'all to my new office. Um, it's going to be a couple, probably another week, week and a half before we get out there. But we're just going to be as patient as the good Lord above wants us to be. If we're asked to wait, we just say, well, how long? Okay. But today we're going to play around. I'm going to put you right over here and jump up in your face. And we're going to make some coffee. Every, every drink. Whether it's the cappuccino, the macchiato, latte, it all starts with a superb shot of the best, finely ground, fresh espresso you can possibly get. And today I'm going to take a little bit of regular Cuban ground, that's my personal favorite, and a little bit of a caramel cream, which is a bean that actually has the caramel in the roasting process. So there's no sugar in the bean, like adding caramel to it. I'm trying to cut out sugar because I got really fat this last year drinking all those test lattes. Uh, so I'm on a skinny latte now. Uh, it's just not working. But, you know, you want to tamp this thing down real good. About 30 pounds of downward pressure. Gets it in there real nice. Creates a nice little puck. Two more a nice little puck of coffee. That way when the water comes through, right out like, you gotta see that this comes out like caramel. This stuff, this don't even look like coffee. So we're gonna set that there. And go out and fill up the kitchen. Like I said, I'm gonna use some unsweetened almond milk for myself and uh, a little bit of stevia. Sweeten it up, take a little bit of that, a little bit of heavy cream, this will flip it up real nice, and then we're going to froth it. Put that away, and go to froth it. That nice little whistle right there, that's what you want. That tells you you ain't getting no big bubbles in it. You don't want it to be slurping. You don't want it to be no slurping. see me because I'm going to treat you right. I won't be as mean to you as I am on Facebook, but I'll send you away with a smile, a good cup of coffee, maybe something you never heard of before. And you'll probably teach me a thing or two. 